Rural communities are being hit harder by inflation than urban areas. That's what an Iowa State University study found. LEX 18's Kristen Edwards digging into those numbers now and showing us the real impact of them by taking us to the rural community of Stanton in this Paying the Price report. Hi, girl, hi! If it's a refreshing iced coffee and a smile you're after, Screamin' Beans Coffee Shop is the place for you. Two thumbs up. Even high inflation will never dull owner Christina Smith's sparkle. You're ready. Sometimes I do get nervous, I get anxious, and then I have to let it go and not worry and enjoy the moment, enjoy the right now, and keep planning for that future and, and hope that things turn around. I just really hope things turn around. The sooner, the better. That way, she can grow her business. At home, high gas prices have also called for sacrifice. Her husband's daily commute to Lexington meant paying about $900 a month for diesel. We didn't have money for a phone bill. We didn't have money for groceries. Now he's going in less to cut down on costs. According to an Iowa State University study, rural household expenses rose 9.2% in 2022, while earnings only rose 2.6%. Customer and single mom Theresa Tipton is feeling that statistic in her pocketbook. You got to choose what bills you're going to pay and which ones you can let slide and try to pick them up the next time. For Chelsea Nolan, high inflation meant she had to take on a second job. We're all balancing things right now, but we're trying. Always finding a way to stay positive and make it work. I just roll with it, just roll with it, you know, and it'll all work out in the end. In Powell County, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News.